this tutorial show you how to use a spinner. Let's create a new JavaFX FXML application project. Okay, I'll copy um, package in front of FXML documents. Okay, spinner. Spinner is a um, single line text field. Process integer, double, or string values so that we can select the value or object from um, order sequence. It looks like combo box or list view but it will display only single item on screen. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the button and label. We are looking for spinner. I will use the uh, FreePix SP for spinner. So I will say SP label. I may put one uh, the name for label. Call it as a label. Change the name to be a LPL label. Then uh, I'm adding one text area. Call it as a TA summary. So when I choose the one item out of um, uh, spinner, then then clicking uh, one button you will uh, return the value to text area. So I will say uh, handle btn level action, save it, then make new controller. So we have a previous method called handle button action. We can remove it. We have a new um, method underneath called um, handle button level action. For spinner, we are using um, integer value at this point. Between level 1 to 3. For example, Spino actually use a special um, the model called Value Factory. The class name is Spinner Value Factory. Again, same data type, which is integer. And I will use the initial new 
new Spino factory. I'm going to use uh, integer Spino value factory. There are only three of them. Uh, integer, double, and list Spino value factory. So I'm dealing with integer, so I will select integer. The beginning and the last value and the initial value. So start from number 1 to 5, initial value is number 1. So I will use it as a constant here. So Spino has a value range from 1 to 5. TA summary append text Spina has a one method called get value. It will return an uh, integer value. So we need to do type conversion to string. So I will use a string wrapper class value of maybe I will add a new line so that I can test more than one input. So here, um, when you click me, it says level is 1, or 2, or 3. So the spin actually show you only one item, even though there are five of them. Close it. Uh, I'm going to add another spinner using a uh, string value. So we can use the observe list. So let me make it slightly bigger for anchor pane. 640, double size. And then let me uh, make some space. So again, one label for um, I will call it as a course. Then uh, another spinner for courses. Okay, now let me label course. Then uh, I will put um, FXID. Will be your course. For Spino, again, same story, I'll make call it as a SP course. I think that's where I'll save it and make new controller or update controller. So Spino, this time I'm going to use a string value. I'm going to use observable list. Click 
collections and then observable array list you can list them all if you want to so English science for example Then uh, I need to create another spinner uh, value factory for courses. I will put table called uh, labels. Same syntax spinner value factory. This time we are going to deal with a string type. New spinner um, value factory, also I need a space. Then uh, list um, spinner value factory can deal with the string value. Again, uh, string type. Actual parameter, we're going to report to observable list. This case, a uh, cost list. Okay, and I'm going to add a spinner here. Set value factory, which is going to be SVA cost. Let me copy the same thing. I think that's all. Um, let's try. Hang on, um, I think I need to add um, actual value here. SP calls get value. Then I may add a uh, tab in front of SP calls. I think that's it. So select the English level one one in English that's correct. Different subject, different level. We can continue to do that for two subjects. Now observable list you know that um, we can add more items. So let's try that one. Cost list dot add or you can use add wall, but let me add two subjects. This time you should be able to see up to four subjects. History. I think that's well. Let me fix the small minor minor things here. Um, it actually say one to five. I actually tab one two three, so let me change to uh, one two five. 
for levels. Also, uh, the constants, I somehow put it as a low case, so I will put it as a capitalize following uh, conventions. Then um, there's one name called um, SVF. And let me specify as a label. So it will be clear. Let me quickly have a look whether there is any mistake or not. Everything seems okay. Okay, there's a S, additional S. Let me remove. Everything seems okay now. Let's try again one more time, then uh, I'll finish up this lesson. Level 1 for English, Level 2 for Science, Level 3 for Math, Level 4 for History. Nothing, that's all. Thank you.